What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, it's your first time here. My name is James St. Michael. If you're looking for free beats, free instrumentals, premium instrumentals, free tips and tricks on how to better produce and write better songs, please consider hitting that subscribe button below and joining the family. But let's get straight into it today. So today's video is all about us revisiting a very, very, very important topic that I touched on a few videos ago. This topic was titled Logic Pro X's Biggest Flaw. The video looked like this and I'll leave a link to the description down below, but basically, Logic Pro X's biggest flaw was that it could not play samples, at least certain formats. This was a very annoying thing. Logic would end up still playing your sample, but what it would do was it would make a duplicate of that sample in another format with another name that had this Dash 24B uh, extension on it. And it just made your sample library look horrendous. Furthermore, if you ended up using that sample within that arrangement or any arrangement, you could not get rid of it or else that sample would be missing from your arrangement and Logic would tell you it couldn't find this file. It was horrendous and ridiculous. But today I present to you a solution. No Apple has not fixed this. It is not fixed at all. But there is a workaround and it is so much better than just a normal fix. Let me go ahead and take you into the DOM and I'll show you what I mean. So here we are in Logic. I've got my basic template pulled up and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. If I go to where my samples are, you'll see here where I've got this weird looking Cashmere Impact 04-24B underscore one, whatever. This is Cashmere's Impact 4 from his Cashmere Volume 2 pack. That's a weird tag though. I know Cashmere didn't do that. Why? Because the impact is right here, number four. But look at what happens when I click on it to listen to it. We get this weird, constant, static, just weird looking waveform. Now, in reality, it's supposed to look like this. It's supposed to play, but it only plays on the file that has a dash 24B Y. This is actually answered by one of our subscribers, Arturs Petrovic. I think it's Russian, I don't know. But anyways, thank you Arturs because he shined some light on this. Basically, Logic will not play anything beyond 24-bit. It will not play 32-bit samples. It will only play 24-bit. So what Logic does is it creates a duplicate of whatever you're trying to play, and it creates that duplicate in a file format of 24-bit so you can then use in your project. But as you can see, this just becomes a big whole mess, and it just it looks ridiculous. I've got like two different files of the same sample here and it's, 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 it just takes up memory on your computer. And the problem with this is that when it takes up memory on your computer, two, it starts to make your sample library look a bit crazy and unorganized. And three, if you end up using this sample in your arrangement, you can never get rid of it because that arrangement relies on this file that Logic has created to work in that arrangement. If you delete it, you lose that sound from your arrangement. It's just, it's horrendous. I can't believe Apple hasn't fixed it yet. But here's the solution. It's called ADSR Sample Manager. So now I've got the same impact pulled up here in the ADSR Sample Manager. And as you can see right now, it played it perfectly fine. But even more so, I can actually turn it into an instrument. And they're all played in time. And you can do this with loops, you can do this with any sample instrument. If you have one sound of a guitar that sounds awesome, you can turn that one sample into a whole instrument just by throwing it in this thing. It's incredible. There is so much more to this alone, but I just wanted to share with you guys real quick a solution to a long on ever going problem with Logic. I hope Apple fixes this soon, uh, but until then, ADSR has got you covered, guys. But nonetheless, that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys take care. Hit that subscribe button and join the family. Hit the like button if you like the video. Let me know in the comment section below if y'all were experiencing this problem and if this ADSR really helps you out. Until next time, guys, good vibes and peace. Later.